A promissory note is a written commitment from the borrower to repay the borrowed funds according to the agreed upon terms. In this video, we'll look at how to solve promissory note problems where we have to find the discounting time. The first question reads, when discounted to yield 10.5% compounded monthly, a 2,600 three-year promissory note bearing interest at 12.25% compounded annually was priced at $3,283.57. To the nearest month, how long after the issue date did the discounting take place? So you borrowed $2,600 and the value at which you borrowed this money was 12.25% compounded annually. We don't know how much that value matured to after three years, but what we do know is that the value discounted to 3,283.57 for a certain amount of time at a rate of 10.5%. So to figure this problem out, we first need to find out how much the $2,600 matured to in three years. Then once we found that number, we discount it by 10.5% such that it amounts to 3,283.57. Okay, let's begin by doing the first thing, which is to find out how much the 2,600 amounted to after three years. We'll use the future value formula for compound interest. So the future value formula goes like this, FV is equal to PV. So the future value is equal to the present value multiplied to one plus the interest rate raised to the power of N, which represents the number of periods. To find the future value of 2,600, we'll take 2,600, multiply it to one plus, the interest rate originally was 12.25%. So if we divide this by 100%, we end up getting 0.1225. The number of periods for three years has to be three. Since there's one period per year, one compounded annually, and it is maturing for three years. So using our calculator, 2,600 multiply two, one plus 0.1225, raise that to the power of three. The 2,600 would mature to 3,677.33. We're told that this amount will get discounted by a certain length of time, which is what we're looking for. Notice that it's asking how long after the issue date at 10.5% where it eventually becomes that amount. So if we look at this on a timeline, at zero, it was 2,600. It matured to, in three years, 3,677.33. And we're looking to discount this such that its value is 3,283.57. How long do we have to discount this value for, for it to reach to that amount? We need that information to help us solve our problem. So again, we'll use the future value formula. The future value is 3,677.33. The present value is 3,283.57. And it is being compounded monthly at 10.5%. So I'll write down 1 plus 0 0.105. And we'll divide that by 12 because it's 10.5% compounded monthly. So we must divide it by 12. And n represents the number of periods, which is the number of months in our case. Let's find out what n is. We divide both sides by that factor. So 3,677.33 divided by 3,283.57. That's equal to 1 plus, well, whatever that is, raised to the power of n. And then we take the natural log of both sides. So I'll write down ln on both sides of the equation. And what this will do is it will change the right side so that we have n times the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.105 divided by 12. And the left side remains the exact same way. At this point, you're more than welcome to evaluate the left side and to evaluate this on your calculator. In fact, that's what I'll do. So the left side, we have ln 3677.33 divided by 3283.57. That's the left side. And whatever that is, we divide both sides by that amount. So I'll write this value down 0 0.11. 
three, two, five, five. You want to keep as many decimal places as you can. And on the right side, we have ln one plus 0 0.105 divided by 12. That gives us that value. And we divide both sides of the equation by that value. So that's 0 0.008711 and so on. We divide both sides by it. So 0 0.113255 divided by what we just found on our calculator. And that gives us an n value of roughly 13. Now, because it's compounded monthly, we know that n represents 13 months. So we must discount this 13 months back to get 3283.57. But the question is saying to the nearest month, how long after the issue date? That was the issue date. So we know it takes 13 months to get back to 3,283. Now, relative to the issue date, since it is a three-year promissory note, three years means 36 months. We take away from 36, 13 months. And what that gives us is 23 months. So from the issue date to here is actually 23 months. That's the answer. You're more than welcome to write this down in years. So it would be one year and 11 months from the issue date to get a value of 3,283.57. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, simply leave me a comment in the comment section below and it'll be uploaded. Thank you for watching.